Guys, I've discovered something that I think everybody needs to see. Someone mentioned to me yesterday the fetch MCP when I made a video about perplexity, and basically you can forget deep research, you can forget manners. Let's talk about how you can easily use Klein plus perplexity plus fetch MCP to find insane prospects easily. In this video, I'm gonna give you an example where we look for backlinks, right? So we look for emails for backlinks, but you can make this do whatever you want, whether that be looking for emails to do cold outreach or, you know, whatever it is. This entire system can replace SaaS products that are making billions. Let's get into it. So if you don't know what client is, you don't know what Roo code is, you don't know what MCPs are, any of that, I'm not really gonna be going into too much detail in every video now. If you don't know what you're doing, you can either watch previous videos that are completely for free, or if you want everything in one combined place, you can go to my school, which the link for it will be in the description of this video. This is going to be a highly in-depth course structure that has as much of my knowledge in written format as possible. You can see I run through everything, how to set up MCPs, etc., all that good stuff. And then I've even just added a basic SEO course here, which I just wrote out and you can see it's very, very detailed. It's not just, you know, the usual, just a load of links or whatever. There's, uh, I'm actually trying to create something of value here. So with that being said, join the school if you don't really know what I'm talking about or just watch previous videos that are free. Okay, so if I just go on my MCP servers on Klein, you can see that I've got perplexity research and fetch both set up. So let's just see how this is done. So this is gonna be a very, very simple prompt, okay? I'm gonna say, use the perplexity MCP and uh, to find potential guest post opportunities. These are found by looking for right for us or specific mentions of guest posting on um, a page on someone's website. The niche for this is classic menswear. So search around this niche plus things like write for us or guest posting specifically being mentioned. Once you find pages, make a CSV uh, of let's just say 10, you can put it to 100 or whatever, but 10 URLs that contain this specific information and then use the fetch MCP to search each of these pages and add information to the CSV, adding columns when new types of information is found on these pages. Make sure to put the specific URL that mentions guest posting or write for us inside the CSV and not just the home page, right? So very, very simple prompt here. We're gonna hit enter here. And basically this is going to do that, not quite for free because obviously perplexity uh, costs money, right? Oh, I deleted my API key last night because someone left a, a crazy comment on my channel. I need to uh, get a new API key that I'm not gonna show on the channel. Okay, so I just changed my API key inside the settings.json of the MCP file. You can see now it's working because it hasn't um, hasn't finished immediately, it hasn't instantly given an error, which means it's working. And then that should then create a CSV file and then afterwards fetch is gonna read each of those. The really cool thing, by the way, the reason this is so fucking cool and interesting is because you have the power of perplexity, you have the power of fetch, but within the autonomous agent of Klein, right? And then not only that, but you also have your own brain, right? So you, at any point you can press cancel and you know change what it's doing. But to be honest with you, it, this these three things alone, it's just insane. It's like Klein has perplexity and fetch, not you, Klein, right? And Klein is a wrapper for Claude which can autonomous, autonomously create files on your computer. It can create reports, right? So you could just sell backlink reports if you wanted. You could go on Fiverr, right? You could say, right, I'm selling five, you know, 100 to 500 um, backlink opportunities. 
in your niche uh, with all of the information. The CSV contains, you know, uh, price of the link, email, and then all that user has to do is plug that into some kind of automatic automated sending software. And they've, you know, this is valuable. You could sell these for like a hundred bucks, if not more, to be honest with you. So like, just bear that in mind, right? You, you, you can create files, you can create .pdfs, right? You can create anything or client can create anything for you, anything you tell it to create, right? So let's just go back here and see what's going on here. Okay, so for example, this is one that I just found very quickly, very easily with uh, the process that I've shown you so far. And then I'll just show you how to verify a backlink if you do want to. Let's do it for free first, actually. So we'll just do href domain checker, right? So you can check here, first of all, what the domain authority of the website is for free. So we've got 31 5.9k backlinks, okay? The other thing you need to check is whether it has real traffic. So we'll do ahrefs uh, traffic checker. These are both free tools, by the way, completely free tools. So you do the same thing here, bang, bang, check this. And we'll see, okay, so 791. This is not... This is not an amazing backlink, to be honest with you, just because the organic traffic is low. However, the domain authority is good, the backlinks are good, decent do follow, decent amount of linking websites, decent traffic for an Australian-only website. So, you know, I would probably consider this, to be honest with you, I'd say this is a decent backlink um, for, a, for a menswear website, right? So we can see this is kind of the process that we're running through. So now we have 10, or we have nine, we need one more. Um, so it's just, it's going through all of Google for me, right? And let's just, if we can, let's see what this is costing. Okay, so it's not actually showing what it's costing at the moment, um, but I'm, I'm sure it's not that expensive. So now it's gonna use the fetch one, right? To read that page, right? Turn it into LLM readable text. And then let's see. So I'll just, I'll also approve these, there we go. This should just run through this very, very quickly. So one thing to note, right, is that you might be better off using um, browser use for this in some cases. This is very, very effective. This is a very cheap way of doing it. You can see that we've only spent 40 cents for 10 potential backlinks, right? So it's pretty cheap. That's $4. You can sell this for $100, let's say. So, I mean, there's definitely profit to be made here, right? So we'll just see what this comes up with in a second. But basically, what I'm trying to get at is sometimes they hide their email in written form because they know that people are doing stuff like what I'm showing you. So it can also be good to use browser use for this. It's just right now, it's just simply not an effective or cheap method of doing of doing it. I think we can all agree this is fucking nuts. We'll see in a second the CSV uh, that it's going to create. Let's watch. I mean, yeah, this is beautiful. You can see it's just full of information. It's got all of the emails, everything, blah, 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 bang, 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 all the details. You can use this for yourself. You can now plug this into some kind of software, uh, N8N, whatever it might be, to automate email sending, right? To build backlinks. You, I don't know how to make this kind of, like I'm still looking at how to make this run like permanently, um, which would be really, really cool. Like imagine you could just sit and let this run just forever, right? And just keep finding backlink opportunities. I think I'm gonna leave the video there, guys. I think we can all agree this is absolutely crazy. This is what I tried to use deep research for, but could never make it work. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end of this video, you're an absolute legend, and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.